Is it recording now? It should be recording. Right. Recording. Hello gamers! Today we're... No, sorry. Hello gamers! Today we're playing FNAF Security Breach, huh? Isn't that gonna be fun? I'm hearing voices in my head Can't forget So yeah, we're playing FNAF Security Breach now Why? Literally why? I don't know. But maybe we're playing FNAF Security Breach. That's the big... For FNAF, that's the big Let's Player game! The thing that'll probably not give me fame or fortune. But I'm gonna try anyway in the Let's Player thing. My auto fucking focus is just kind of crap right now, isn't it? Yay. So yeah, we're playing FNAF Security Breach. The... Or as I like to call it, FNAF, the big one. Yes, after just making a series where it's literally just like, you look at the thing on your monitor, like it's a fucking 90s adventure game, now we actually have a full on 3D walk around -y title. I wanted to liken it to like, FNAF, the Dead Rising Resident Evil one. Is that going to be apt? I don't know. So let's start a new game. Like, uh, uh, as usual, it's fucking... Hey look, you played for like a minute. Yeah, because it's a let's play, I think. Oh well. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Fazbear Entertainment would like you to put your hands together for the one, the only, Freddy Fazbear. Our Lord and Savior. Ugh. Ugh. You're gonna have a billion pieces of gift art over you. Please don't sing, please don't sing. Oh no, he's having a... <laughs> he took too many drugs <laughs> backstage and now he collapsed. <laughs> Never take the robo drugs. At least now we're safe mode of the generic background music for like an 80s montage. It wasn't really a song, was it? It was more like... Background music. Uh. Showtime already. I am experiencing a malfunction. The recharge cycle is not complete. Will you shut up? Who said that? I did. Down here. Down where? I still do not see you. Okay, listen. You were sleeping, so I opened the stomach hatch and climbed inside. My stomach hatch? That place is reserved for oversized birthday cakes and pinatas. It is not a safe play area. Not the Viva Piñatas. Yeah, I wish you would have been there before I started recording. I just wanted to see if OBS was going to fucking have its moments where, where, where the bitrate would just collapse and have like, it look terrible. 
So yeah, I already had the shock of like, wait, they talk now? Yeah, apparently they talk now. Apparently they've gone from just going, they, they talk now. Okay. That's a thing now, I guess. I don't know where, like... This is the... I feel like this is the moment where I really am missing something because I didn't watch like 17 and a half hours of Mad Pat talking about FNAF lore. Because I have no idea if this is still the, the fucking animatronics with the dead children inside of them. Which you're like, of course it's not. I know you fucking law bros are like, of course it's not. This is glam rock, Freddy. This is new. But it's like, yeah, fuck it. There you uh, are. Hmm. Scanning complete. How odd. Your guest profile is unknown to me. Who are you? You talking to me is unknown to me. I'm Gregory. Gregory. I will notify the main office. Oh, connection error. I cannot connect to the main network. It's her. She cut you off. She's not going to let you call for help until she finds me. Who? Who is looking for you? Your mother? Shh. I hear footsteps. <laughs> oh, is that what? Oh, wait, that, that's his arm. So did that is watch? Okay. Okay, yeah, I, yeah, I really am missing something because like he's gonna give you a watch now. Again, you, you, you're missing the initial that like, split reaction. It's like what? Whoa. Mm -hmm. So I kind of already kind of got. Jesus Christ. Okay, I guess I didn't get used. I haven't gotten used to it yet. I was like, he's gonna give you a watch inside his chest where the kid just was. It, it's really stupid. And I, I guess the kid's already wearing it because I guess they weren't expecting you to look in the mirror. I never th thought I would get to the point where a FNAF game would have better fucking mirrors than Mafia 3. Then again, Mafia 3's mirrors were fucking portals to hell, so hmm. You're shitting yourself! Go no. to the bathroom! No, yeah, what the hell? Go! But he's wearing the watch he's gonna give you because I guess no way they didn't think you'd notice. No, no, they put a mirror right there. Why not? I don't know who she is, but she's trying to get me. Isn't there some other way for you to communicate with me? Besides? Can you tell I like nitpicking? Take this. It is a novelty Freddy Fast watch. Get the 80s smartwatch. What was that? I am sending you an encoded message. I unboxed the loot box. I did not get a CSGO knife though. I did not get a thousand dollar knife. I went I just wanted to let's play this because I I thought like this was like, oh look it's a FNAF. The thing. Like, that that's what makes Let's Play as rich. You can have a thing for the thumbnail, by the way. So let me just do something. I'm gonna put that in the thumbnail. Yeah. Um, yeah, just come from me, it's like, I've just kind of been side blasted by like years of fucking lore videos by MatPat, having no idea what half of this stuff even is or why I should care. And. Now this, like, imagine, imagine just me looking at this thing from, like, 2014, and then only having a slight eye on it since then, and now suddenly all of this, so, I've, again, I have no idea when this is supposed to take place, or how, so I'm not, so I want to go, like, wait, is this the 80s watch, is this the 80s smart watch? I don't know. There is an open air vent inside the maintenance room. You will have to climb through the ventilation system and release me from the outside. I guess screw me for, for asking for the law of this game. There? there is nothing to be scared of. You can do it. Also, by the way, if you notice, you, you just see Fur Affinity just ass blasting these walls. It's, it's, it, Fur Affinity just shit blasted. It's garbage just all over this place. Again, it's it's really hard to tell if this is like whether or not this thing is an actual horror game or if this is just kid stuff. 
I mean, I think the animatronics look fucking horrible, especially when they talk to you, but... Yeah, and I also think it's horrible that it's like... Yeah, no, no, it's just horrible. They, they, they talk now. It's, it's terrible. It's terrifying. So I guess good job, Scott. Well, not Scott. Also good job on not actually communicating what this game was going to cost until like literally the day of release. Like you could have put it at least in the Steam page. But I guess this is just what I really have to get used to with a FNAF franchise. Even the price is just you gotta watch Scott's tr streams or whatever. Again, I, I'm only so, like hearing this for like a side thing. Like I'm not actively paying attention to it because I'm not a fan of this. But I have a feeling like you have to be kind of a FNAF fan in order to really get the most of coming out of focus. Thank you. <sighs> Your hair is beautiful. Your tail is beautiful. Everyone was watching you. Everyone loves you. Everyone wants to be you. You are the best. Thank you. I am the best. I am the best. You are mediocre at best. <laughs> God, this fucking furry dialogue, it's just ugh. It's like, why are they sentient? Like in the original I thought they were only sentient because dead kids. Guess not. I guess this literally has just become this weird amorphous thing where it's just, it's FNAF. I not, I don't question it. So, good I guess. Mm. Da, 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 da. Well, you wake up in the morning, hear the work bell ring, and on to the table. Buenas días, chica. Hola, Manuel. I guess buenas noches. Fuck. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for visiting, and we hope you enjoyed the show. Freddy and the gang are pretty tired, but they'll be back again next week after a few days of scheduled maintenance. Please make your way to the front of the building, where you will be given novelty glasses, a voucher for one free soda refill, and where you will sign a legal disclaimer releasing us of all liability for anything that might have happened during your visit. Have an awesome night, and we'll see you again soon. God, I wish I cared about rap, then I could reference that one rapper where everybody made memes about the guy dying on stage. Is this a hiding mechanic? Yes, it is. I guess this is what a sentient because it exhibits? So what is this? It's really weird. I feel like there's there's some kind of commentary here on like 80s nostalgia and like the state that FNAF is in right now. As in like, this started out as like a small pizzeria and I thought this, that's what all it was. Like, like a weird like second rate or third rate kind of pizza joint like local to like one area, but now it's a giant mall uh, thing. Yeah, and then I realized, no wait, it's FNAF, don't think about it. I kind of miss the Bioshock pop-ups on screen where it just says, we just hover over an object and it just says what it is. Hmm. Again, what's what the furry art? Really weird. I have a feeling like half of this stuff is like just crop from like people on the internet. 
The only thing that's really missing in this room is a fucking Funko Pop. Ugh. Wait, level 5 security pass? Okay. Again, yeah, no idea what this even is. Am I just supposed to run around? Who is this? Is this the new OC? How many theory videos can I get out of this one? I love how it just tells you that you need a thing. Like, it's not even on the watch, it's just... It just tells you like that. There could have been a more immersive way of telling you this. Like saying, oh, you know, like, so there's somebody over the intercom or something. I guess not. What's with everything here? Again, like, this has a price tag of $40, and it, yet it feels like I'm playing a $20... Unity engine game, which sounds bad, but I, because you know I, I like games like Cuphead, which run on Unity, but you know what I mean. This feels like a Unity game. The stupid door won't open. Oh, you are going to need a photo pass to open the door. Apologies, I assumed you had one already. Well, you should be able to find one at a convenience counter. What did I just say about were you just telling me that I need something? Why can't I tap on the windows? Imagine having to refill these balloons every single day. So the reason she's playing is because she's right next to him. She wants to drown out the, the horrible noises. I am awake as alligators. What am I supposed to do now? Where am I supposed to go to main stage? Level 10 security pass. Oh god. Is this just gonna take place like in these few rooms? Again, it's great. $40 game. This is weird because like this thing is like 80 gigs. And you know, the last years have just really messed with my perception of like how much games should be worth. We paid for the Glam Freddy Mega Deluxe Party Package and Freddy broke down as soon as he got on stage. We paid to have him at the table and sing happy birthday. He was supposed to give her the cake. My daughter's birthday has been ruined. I demand a refund. Well, go screw you. Scott Cawthon already spent the money to I don't know, put transgender people in camps or whatever Jim Sterling said. Cringe. Still, it's weird considering you can get you can get games like I guess Resident Evil for like sixty bucks or something. Like this is just twenty bucks off. And it's like so far I've had way less of a structured experience. Like way less of a like, ooh, this is gonna be the plot, and I guess it's tradition for the FNAF games. But again, to me, it's just it just kind of makes me want to vomit. And then I want to collect that moment and send it to Mad Pat because I feel like he influenced the path of this community, this game. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Am I just supposed to go here? Oh! Well, it would have been nice if there was any indication. But I guess there isn't. Yeah, it would have been nice if there was any kind of indication. I guess that one thing. 
Like, like, when you look at this big door, do you think this is just gonna be something that just doesn't stay closed? Like, you would think this is the thing that would stay closed? Like, until you, like, did an arbitrary thing here and then it would go like, Vroom! I guess not. Still, I'd rather play this than any other FNAF game that came out previous. Because, you know, at least this is more of a game. Like, I feel like FNAF is slowly building itself up to be a proper actual video game. Instead of just being... Plush Toy Game Theory, the franchise. At least this is the closest it's ever gotten. Still, Jesus Christ, it still has that weird, the weird like indie game jank. I can, I don't think you can sell an indie game for forty buck arenas. I really don't. Guess this is modern day. And here I was Matt here was thinking Matt Pat was gonna make a thing of like this was what A4 paper was invented so we can care so you can definitely determine FNAF security breach takes place from this point onwards or something. I wanna make a comment on this, but it's like no, I'm still getting furry vibes. Rest. Donut and chips. Hmm. <laughs> Could you imagine actually getting in those cars and just driving around like an asshole? But wait, if this takes place in modern day, why is literally? Oh my god! I feel, oh my god! Is this a Photoshop template? <laughs> Oh, uh, so if I could say it's like seize the means of production or something. <laughs> oh Christ! I got the photo pass. Good job. Now, please come let me out. Well, if you say so, Riss from B Stars. If you say so, yeah. I feel like I need more material than just compare than I'm just calling them furries. Huh. But it's just so easy. Hmm. Oh. Use the photo pass to I don't have a map. Is it just doing its routines? Maybe it's so cool. I cannot jump over the the red rope. Oh well. To go, superstar! I knew you could do it. Uh. I know how to get you out of here. Climb back into my chest cavity. There is still time, but we must hurry. If I am spotted, I will certainly be taken back to my room. I will escort you to the I main this was your room. utility tunnels. It is the safest path. Okay, but you better be careful moving around. I don't want to be crushed and twisted into a meat pretzel. <laughs> We're like those other kids. Yeah. This is way too small. Even for a kid. I am sorry, Gregory. I would love to do a tour, but it is closing time. And this door is locked. Look for a door with my icon on it. Oh 
up. Mm. Yeah, no, this is still giving me creepy fucking fetish vibes. Like, yay, more chest ball. Well, that's one way to get around Roombas, I guess. Do not worry, Gregory. Even if we are spotted, you are safe with me. She would never suspect we are traveling together. However, we should still do our best to avoid her. If I am sent back to my room, we will never get to the lobby before midnight. I feel you are broken. Don't worry about it. I'm fine. No. I feel that something is wrong. I am taking you to the first aid station. There's no time! I'm fine! Freddy! You're supposed to be on lockdown! I guess we all are. Officer Vanessa, I, I do not know how I got here. Well, you totally blew it tonight, you know. Your system crashed and you ruined the show. Now, parts and services have you on reduced power. They said it's a safety precaution. Just one more thing to deal with. I apologize. Okay. Look, we're like 15 minutes from closing and some kid is sneaking around backstage. If you see anything, notify me immediately. I already alerted the others. Now, go back to your room. Who would have thought Scott Cawthon would be the first person to invent actually sentient AI? I told you she was after me. I said nothing. I will keep you safe. Let us go. It's just, it's just weird. Yeah, no, I'm still getting furry vibes. Just, mmm. Where are we? We are now under the pizza plex. These utility tunnels connect all the attractions. We can go anywhere in the building? Correct. Phaser Blast, Monty Golf, Roxy Raceway. They are all accessible to staff, with high enough clearance, of course. Guests are never allowed down here, but, uh, yours is a special situation. I don't know, I, I'm already dick terrified of the furry thing, so... Yeah. I guess it works. Good on you, Scott. What if it turns out... It's called Cawthon was just gonna do a face reveal and it turns out and he just starts going Hey y'all Scott here And it's like oh no Scott Cawthon and Scott the was are secretly the same person the whole time Now that's the game theory I've been waiting for I am terribly sorry the recharge cycle had not yet completed when I found you. You must continue without me. I will guide you on your fast watch in case you get into any trouble. I don't know if I can do this alone. Also, yes. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but it's literally... I guess it kind of fits into the whole meta thing of Five Nights at Freddy's where it's like it's a thing but it's not really a thing because it's a video game huh. it's Chica. Maybe I could 
distract her with something. Mm. I guess now we're in the Officially in the stealth thing. Mm. Why are you showing me these chances? Chances I've already figured that out. Oh god, this game's so weird. Again, it's like for something as high profile as Five Nights at Freddy's, I was kind of expecting more? I don't know how to describe it, I was just expecting something more professional, now they're actually gonna be taking it like full on 3D. Again, I. You know what? I'm just gonna say it. I'm playing a kid's game. There you are. <laughs> Let's see what happens. I guess this also has like really long load time. Wait, well, now I want to go back and see if the, if the girl chicken also does the thing. Oh. Did I look it? Wait. Mm -hmm. Oh. <coughs> I guess I can't go back to the thing. Yeah, again, I can't help but compare it to Resi 8. That was a fun game. Yes. Blech. Could you at least give me a loading screen? See what I mean? Like, uh, this is just. Mm. Oh god, fucking Christ. I'm a lake as alligators. Uh. Am I supposed to, like, hide or something? I guess I am. Huh. Seriously, can you give me a loading screen? Also, I love how... I put it at like medium uh, graphical quality. Like, what am I supposed to do here? Oh no, not one of the last boys. That means I'm in the Neverland. <laughs> this really is like more, more like the cafe '80s from Back to the Future 2. Well done, Gregory. Look, you I'm in the FNAF the room. I guess it tricked me. I guess the game tricked me. Now I'm in the FNAF room. I have to just do this all the time. 
Bunkers were designed to keep our highly trained security staff safe in the event of an emergency. As long as the doors stay closed. Which they will. As long as there is ample power. Freddy! The power's only at 15% and they're pounding on the door! How am I gonna get out of here? Do not panic. You should see an interface on the security desk. I guess it did really just trick me. Now it's gonna be the same horrible experience as the all the other games. God damn it. You can now activate security protocols. Your fast watch is now connected to the security. Those boxes on your minimap are nearby security cameras. When movement is detected by the camera's motion sensors, you should see red alert icons. Switch between the cameras to find a safe path out of the office and to the main lobby. I don't know. Guess I'm gonna bullshit it. No, 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 hiding places. Okay. Why do I have to hold the button? It's just a small little niggle. I wonder if that's a speed now running tactic. If they actually got up. Let me guess, there's a fucking achievement for that. But there is still hope. You should be able to escape when the security doors reopen at 6 a.m. Until then, keep moving and try not to draw attention to yourself. If there is another way out, I will help you find it. I promise. I feel so sorry for you. Something that. I'm gonna do a face count, just do this. What? If you're already inside, then why? Ugh. I, feel like I seriously can't tell if this game was made for children or not. Either that or just, you know, I already said it. I already said it. I already said it. Kind of like the brushes they're using now. Well done, Superstar. You have access to the lobby. Unfortunately, that complimentary entry ticket does not allow you to enter the pizzeria. You can find an upgrade machine in customer service. No, fuck it. I don't know if if it's just the, the telegraphing or what, but there's something about this that just doesn't work for me. Is it still recording? Did I just record all of this without... Hello, hello. Oh great, and now the mmm now the bit rate's fucked up. I recorded just like 40 minutes of footage without Oi 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 I'm a fucking loser. God damn it.